Good evening, parents. My name is Victor Lowe, and I have the great privilege of teaching your children in the realm of mathematics and geography this year in seventh grade. Let's go over the menu for today. We're going to go through who, where, how, when, why, and finally what. Starting with the who. Well, it's me. I am the proud father of Isaac and Ian Lowe, and I am married to my lovely wife, Mina Lowe. A little bit about me. I was born in Hinsdale and I was raised in Lyle and I lived all over the world. I went to high school in Beijing, China. Just to let you know I'm educated, there's some facts for you over there. This is my 17th year at Scullin Middle School. I've taught all the grade levels at Scullin as well. Alright parents, I need your help this year. Back in the days, it was the teachers and the parents that were against the students. Now there seems to be a misconception where parents and students are against teachers. But the problem is, both illustrations are not good. Together we can do this and communicate very clearly with one another. Collaboration is key for us to succeed this year. I am one of the teachers on Team 7-0, but I also teach off-team kids on 7-1 and 7-2 in PA Math or Algebra 1. I will be going over Algebra 1 first, then 7th grade Common Core Math, followed by Geography. That will be at the end in the What section, so feel free to skip around. Now for the Where. In 7th grade, we travel a lot. In the morning, I am in A207, and later on in the afternoon, when we finish up the periods in Core, I'm in B208. So this is where I teach in the afternoon. I am in B208. Let's go check out my class real quick. All right, here we go. My class, this is my Algebra 1 class, and we're going to see how it goes. Greeting, kids. Hi, Mr. Lowe. That's how, kind of freaky, but that's how we do it here. Okay, and this is kind of my setup right here. All, um, I have the computer that showcases different things, and then the kids are all behaving. Each day they come in there, and their agenda's here, and everyone knows what's going on, right? Yeah. You just saw the physical classroom, but we want to look at the virtual classroom as well. You see, a learning management system is pivotal for this year's success. And Google Classroom is our primary way to be able to handle all assignments as well as communication. As a parent, you should be receiving Google Classroom summaries at the end of the day via email about what we've been doing throughout the day. It is imperative that students log on to Google Classroom to check out what's on the agenda and the various attachments and materials that have been shared throughout the class period. This is also a great way for students to get in touch with each other as they can post questions under the comment sections and answer them. We definitely want the kids to be a community online. Alright, let's talk about the how now. Every child deserves the opportunity to struggle. Love this quote. If this is what learning looks like, something has to be very wrong. We need to understand that learning is messy. It is not always so clear cut and dry. Struggling does not mean needless frustration or extreme levels of challenge. It means that students need to expend some effort to make sense of mathematics or any problems they have. To build grit, you need to let your students figure out answers. Give them a chance to come up with something. I will take it from there. It's important to understand how to get their grades. We've been taking some time to go over what weighted grades means. 10% of the grade will come from classwork. This includes IXL math activities, as well as anything that we do in class. This can be from note-taking to Google Classroom posts, Google Class questions, and various note-taking strategies. 40% of the grade will come from formative assignments. This includes homework assignments that are given through Math Excel for School and Big Ideas. This is important for the students to be able to go through online resources that allow three tries with examples and even online tutoring. We will also include homework slides via Google Classroom and work can be shown in your notebook. And finally, we have summative assessments, which will count for 50% of their final grade. This will include tests and quizzes, all of which will be graded out of 100 points. Algebra 1 will also be taking a final that will cover first semester and second semester. Let's take a look at the main letter codes that are in Synergy. The Z will signify that your student has not completed an assignment. A grade of 50% will be temporarily given before grading the actual assignment. In previous years, we have given a zero for this, but now we are giving 50%, which allows us to give 10% to represent each letter grade in the gradebook. When and if your student turns in something late, the code will change from a Z to an LA, which stands for late. There is no penalty for this so long as it is turned in before the assessment. 
An EX stands for excused and it will not count against or for the student. All late digital homework requires a screenshot of the score and the student needs to then email me the screenshot. If the homework is turned in after the assessment, the grade will remain to 50%. Digital homework on Math Excel for School and digits do not connect directly to Synergy. If the students are turning in assignments late, it is so important for them to email me a screenshot of their score so that I can update it. Research shows extremely high percentages of businesses that are unhappy with college graduates lack of collaboration skills. Translation? They don't work together well. However, the digital platform is a fantastic way where students can contribute to each other's learning. Students can post questions online and they can be able to provide answers to those that are confused. Let's go to when. Feel free to pause this to take a look at the schedule. We have a modified schedule for Wednesdays. Second to last is why. It is so important for the students to understand why they are learning the content that I'm teaching. This is why, pun intended, I take the time during the beginning of the year to teach them various things. We are constantly trying to teach the attributes from the portrait of a graduate. We believe that these are adjectives that businesses and corporations are looking for when they are looking for new hirees. I love this clip. If you haven't seen this before, Michael Jr is a comedian that had asked this guy to sing a song. And he was brave enough to sing out loud for everyone to hear. How do I know? A lot of people, when they think of the phrase, how do I know, they always want to put the what behind it. How do I know what I'm supposed to do? The, the question that you really should ask is, how do I know why I'm here? Because when you know your why, your what becomes more clear and more impactful. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. All right, so that's pretty good. So he stops him and then asks him to sing it again. He gives him a different context and he tells him to sing it as if he was stuck in a hard place and he was crying out for help. I don't know about you, but that was amazing. When he gave him context, he understood why he was singing and therefore he was able to make an amazing rendition of that song. So that's why I'm taking so much time establishing the why through our introduction unit on fear, the future, patience, and hope. I know some people are thinking, wow, they haven't had much homework. Don't worry, that's coming. Now the what. In Algebra 1, we're going to have two semesters that are going to be devoted to the various topics that are outlined here. There's a rough timeline that is shown below if you want to go over that. I also provided the book that we'll be using with the ISBN number and the calculators that we'll be using throughout the coursework. Here's another look at the units. I want to point out that this is the first time that they will be taking what we call the high school final. This high school final will constitute for 20% of the quarter grade. It will go over all the concepts that we have learned up to that point. Don't worry, there will be a study guide. Next, let's take a look at Accelerated Math or 8th Grade Common Core Math. We have 8 units to cover, starting with Chapter 1 in Equations, then Transformations, going along with Angles and Triangles, and then Linear Equations. This is followed by Geometry, Statistics, and Probability, with a Unit 4 on Linear Equations again, and the Number System. And I'm actually here with my Geography class. Guys, way back! Uh, so we'll check it out. In 7th grade Geography, we have four core questions. But before that, we start with the Launch Unit, which includes the question on Globalization, and what impacts does it have? Then we get into, does culture make us who we are? Unit 2 talks about, are human rights universal? Is equal always fair? Unit 3 talks about boundaries and whether or not they are necessary. And Unit 4 is the world ready and willing to make sacrifices to promote human progress. In Geography, the grades will include 50% that is on formative assignments and then 50% that is on summative assessments. I know this year is only going to be a great success if we do this together. If you can take some time to fill out a questionnaire that is on the link below or the QR code for you to scan, that would be great. And that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me tonight and I'm glad that you got to know a little bit about me and my philosophy as well as what we're going to go over this year. And finally, go Sharks!